Hey YouTube, when I saw this bee in a fountain, I noticed something interesting about the waves that were radiating away from its wings. Instead of nice big concentric circles, like you'd expect, there were stripes in the waves. If you look closely, you may recognize the pattern as an interference pattern, similar to the one you would get from the double slit experiment. Here I have a laser beam shining through two closely spaced holes. As you can see by the light as it falls on the wall, it forms a pattern similar to what was behind the bee. Both the wings of the bee and the pinholes in the foil act like point sources of waves. Point sources of waves just form waves that radiate away uniformly in all directions. Here I have two point sources sitting on top of each other. As they separate, you'll notice that a pattern starts to occur. This is because the waves are no longer 100% in phase with each other. As they move away, occasionally a crest and a trough will overlap, cancelling out the wave in between. If you've seen my videos on diffraction gratings, this may sound familiar. This is because the two point sources act like two of the ridges on the diffraction grating. It is a more generalized case. If you'd like to play with interference patterns yourself, Go to falstad.com slash ripple and download the zip archive. Inside the archive, you'll find a jar file which you can run and use his ripple tank simulator. This is a very generalized but powerful piece of software that will let you test many different cases similar to the ones I've shown you here. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.